Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy King Phantom coming with another video on my today. On today's day, today I'll be doing a vlog. Yay! I'm doing another vlog. I know lately I haven't really came out with so much gameplay, especially Call of Duty gameplay. I haven't had that in like a month or two. It's all because of all <sighs> freaking college, dude. It's not really allowing me to do that. And plus, like my PC does not give me the best opportunities to do like actual gameplay. It really doesn't. And also, guys, I hope you guys like the new cam camera. Yeah, Lord, thank you. Like a new camera angle that I'm going to be using. I don't know if I let it stick. And uh, again, I actually want to reiterate something. If you guys, I think this is in my last video or the video before or before that, I did a Palin's Bed Key giveaway. You guys still have a chance. I'll be giving away two: one to a current sub at the time of that video. And to a new sub, and I go to subscribe to the channel. If if you are new, you subscribe to the channel and direct message me or leave a comment saying you want to um, be entered. And if you're a current sub, why you gotta do say, let me, I want to be entered in it because like you're a current sub. Like so I want to. One of my friends actually opened my eyes a little bit on giving back to my current sub instead of just trying to draw a new audience in. So like I said, that's what I'll be doing. And like I said, I hope I. I wish I had like the camera like directly in the computer, cause I could look directly at the computer, cause like I have to actually look at the camera. It's kind of awkward. Pretty awkward. Oh, awkward. Let me. Do, can I do something like this? All right. So mm, that's not gonna work. Well, eh, let's just put it back at the old camera angle. Hasn't uh, faulted us yet. So today, 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 I want to be talking about my first thoughts on the Smite PTS. And I probably shouldn't set my camera down because I want to show you guys something. I have a little board over there. It is the green board, which I called PTS. That's all. And I have several thoughts and, like, stuff about the PTS. So far, the PTS has only been out for maybe four days. And this is just, like, my first impressions and things I'm going to be, that I think are good, bad. I mean, this is just like four days of just me just talking, not like the best people in the whole entire world talking. Alright, so again, I will actually, if you look down in the description, I'll even make sure I put in the title, read the description. If you guys don't want to hear me talk, just look down in the description. I will put everything I'm saying in that video in words so you guys can uh, better understand it. So let's get it. First thing that I've seen about the PTS, like, it, first of all, the map is basically the same. There's been small touch-ups in there. I'm talking about, like, visually, not, like, gameplay-based. Like, textually, this is basically the same layout of Season 2. But, like I said, a little bit of graphical update. It kind of hit my, my frames a little bit. Not too much, but at the same time, it does kind of suck. Oh, sorry, guys. If I yawn, it's just because I'm tired because, like, I have an awkward sleep schedule. Like, I sleep, like, from, like, 4 to, like, 9, and then I stay up all night and play games, and I get, like, 2 hours of sleep before I have my classes. I have a pretty stupid sleep schedule. <laughs> but, like I said, the uh, map, like, you know, what's actually just getting the gameplay? Um, there's, like, new rotations of buffs and all this stuff, like, the buffs actually spawn up 4 seconds. Well, I don't know. Well, I think they're, they might still be immune. But I think they you can definitely hit them at 5 seconds instead of the usual 10 seconds as it used to be. Which, honestly, it, that's a pretty big impact because, like I said, you're getting a lane. But you're definitely going to get to lane before the creeps happen. So you have less of a chance of getting pushed in. But at the same time, if you have weak buff clear, you're probably still going to get pushed in. Like I said, uh... Leashing is even more important because, like, the quicker times, the quicker you get to lane... Even though you won't get pushed as much, the quicker you get in the lane, that always is going to be the better. Always going to be better. And there's a couple different starts that people are trying to do. Like I said, I'll get into it maybe in a video, but not really this. I'm just going to go over what I have on the board. First thing that I put was uh, Hades is the king. Now, these last two days, I haven't seen much Hades, but the first two days, everybody was playing Hades because it was just broken. You, you'd go like, do more pin boots a penetration item you just freaking one shot everybody it was so nasty 
everyone was using spear, which I was a person just trying to try out the uh, new penetration item. Spear of a. Uh, oh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the one that's 130 power and 30 penetration. I don't know how much I like it. I mean, it seems to be good, just be mostly because of the base stats. The passive, I feel like people are over hyping the passive. It, it's hard because, like, like let's say with Ra, let's say you um, use your one, you use your three and one. They're both on cooldown for like ten seconds. Then you snipe and kill somebody. Boom! During that time, your ult goes, well, give or take a second. Boom, your three and one go down to like one, two, one and two second cooldowns. That that's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of burst potential, but at the same time, spears just become so good. And actually I'm experimenting with a double pin, like on all builds, so I'm going like spear or obsidian shard and then my last item. Well, I have to show you the build at one time. Just know so you know what I mean. I think it's technically my sixth item. It's technically my sixth item, or fifth. Okay, I go do more boots, uh, penetration, rod. Okay, yeah, it is my fifth item. Wait, okay, do more boots, penetration, rod. What? Oh, that does not seem right. Do more, okay, okay, do more boots. Boot. Oh, I remember what it is. Doomorb, a uh, boots, Chronos pendant, uh, penetration rod, sp uh, the um, other spear, and uh, I sell Doomorb for a uh, book of thoth or Bancroft style and one or two. Maybe so River if I need it. But generally, like that made Hades so broken just because like you can just one shot somebody so easily. As well as you just have such a dominant lane clear. Like, I'm pretty sure no god in the game out clears you from at like level 1 to like. Not level 1, level. Probably level 2. Yeah, level 2 to like. When most mages get their like full clear, like maybe like 8. Like, nobody, you just push, you can just push, push, push people into the tower. And you can rotate freely. Like, Hades is so good. I don't know why people don't play him as much anymore. Like I say, he can be played the mid and solo. And he actually recently got changed to a mage. None of his stats got... Ch Thank you. None of his stats got changed, but people aren't really building him tanky anymore. People are just building, yeah, let's go one-shot that guy. I feel like people are going like, oh, he's technically a mage now, so we have to do this. I mean, he did not literally change at all. And I recommend for all you newer players out there that Hades, pick him up. Pretty solid character, pretty easy to play. Not a lot of, uh, not really a lot of, uh, difficulty playing him. You just click one, click three, walk away, rotate, or just hit him auto attacks. But, like, at a high level, you literally just push with your three. You auto-attack them and just use your three. Or you can use the fear three. It just depends what point of the game you're in. Next thing I put is, uh, Doom Orb is OP. I, I know Doom Orb is okay. I mean, I'll tell you why. Doom Orb, for you, what you guys, uh, who may not know, it got reverted back to its old form. And now its old form was, is like, every time you, uh, get a stack by killing, like, a creep or a god... You get five stacks for a god kill, one stack for a minion kill, and it gave you power. And I don't know exactly how much it gave you. I think like maybe 100 or 200 power when fully stacked. Which for 1700 gold, that's pretty nice. Like it's like you have no reason not to build it. And so many people are complaining about Doom Orb. But the reason why, w here's the reason why it's in the game. If you want to snowball the game, then you pick up a Doom Orb guaranteed. Now here's what happens when you pick Doom Orb. You pick Doom Orb, you have a target on your back. And I've experienced this so much. Like, that's why sometimes I want to build Doom Orb. Is because, like, I know the moment I get a decent stack, everybody's just going to try to come kill me in mid lane. It's, it's, it's annoying. But I digress. So, like, if you get to full stacks, you're going to be hitting really hard. They're going to have lots of power. But the moment you die... You lose half of those stacks. That's so much power lost. And then you die once. 
then you don't have all that power, and then someone else comes and kills you, you, you lose even more power. So basically, it's a total um, snowball item on both sides. So either you snowball out of control, or you get snowballed on out of control. Because, like, a low stack Doom Orb is pretty crappy. It's only when you stack it, it becomes good. So that's what happens. Why people are complaining about Doom Orb, it's obviously because they're dumb. And they play against people who probably don't die. And they probably don't focus that person with Doom Orb. If someone ever uses a stacking item... That can be uh, sexual loss and death. That person needs to die repeatedly. Repeatedly. They need to be camped. I'm telling you guys, that guys from experience. Trust me. Next thing I put is invade. It, the reason why I put it there is just because like, again, at the start, like the first two days, everybody was invading me. Not like that doesn't already happen. <laughs> but... I feel like Vazor. So actually, side story. Let me tell you what happened my first game on the PTS. I was playing mid. I was playing um, Giannis. Um, we was at the red buff. What happened is they five-man um, five um, ganked us. No, invaded us. They took our red, killed all three of us, and guess what they did? Meanwhile, on the right side of the map, someone laid down a ward. They all started off with teleportation, like TP. They all teleported to the ward and then killed them. So we literally had a, a split deicide at the start of the game. Like, what type of cheesy crap is that, dude? Like, go kill yourself for that one. But, going back to invades, I feel like invades might be very strong because, like, how open it is, you have multiple ways to enter. So... Usually, most of the time, you'd be stacked up, and then you'd invade. You have a chance to get it. But now, you guys can actually split and come in on both sides, so they can't just run one direction. They have to run back, or they have to run into one of you guys to where you guys can collapse on that person and kill them. And actually, also goes both ways. It's actually easier to get out of an invade now as much as it is easy to invade. So, it's really like a 50-50 chance. It kind of was last season, but it's like, it's really hard to explain. It's more guaranteed if you're going to win, win the invade or not. You're most likely to win an invade now. Especially because people are playing so passive in the early game now. It's like, people are literally just back off or they'll just die. Or at least, like I said, this is, this is from my experience. People will literally back off or they'll just die. They will not fight you back unless they have a stronger comp than... And if you invaded when someone else has a strong comp, then you deserve to die. <laughs> Let's see, next thing I have is uh, we need more si insight on uh, Soul Eater. Now, for those who do not know, Soul Eater got changed in this patch. It used to give you health, protection, life steal, attack speed, blah, 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 blah. It gave you so much. It was a very bloated item, which means I had a lot of with it. What actually happened this year, that was like, Bruh, so stone was so bloated. We ain't gonna make any other bloated items. You still kind of made it bloated. Not as bad. Because it gave hunters health and protection, which is something they did not need. Freaking dumb. Tank. Never dies. Stupid. <laughs> but, what happened now? It gives 20 life steal and 30 attack speed. I'm just think. Oh, what the? F Sorry, guys. That's just off the top of my head. 20% um, life steal and 30% attack speed. Do not quote me on that. I'm just guessing. I don't have to remember. But now the passive actually is if you build stacks, now you build stacks on it. For every go uh, minion kill you get or god kill, I, it might just be minions. I don't have to know. For every stack you get, you get, I think, 0.5% movement speed, 0.5% life steal. Which basically get bonus life to movement speed, which is pretty nice. Actually, I think you actually keep the stacks even if you die. I think, but there's a cap. Actually, no, you don't, because there's a caveat to it. I just not realized it. Yeah, I just realized something. No, what you don't keep the stacks when you die, because to for you to have died, you have to get below fifty percent, which is the new passive. If you fall below fifty percent, you consume all those stacks, and I think it's. 1% per uh, stack. So, like, if you get the full 20 stacks on the item, you drop below 50%, boom, you go right back up to 70%. You get a huge burst too, which is dumb, but at the same time, it is pretty good. 
But here's the thing, like, if you keep falling below 51, 50, you do get the burst hill, but it ends up just being like a 1% hill, which is very, very ineffective, which, it, it kind of sucks. It's like, honest, and honestly, there's no real place to build it, because like, early game, you're not going to just want Soul Eater. You're not going to really want Soul Eater at the early game. But at the same time, you can't build it late, because like, when you're going to have time to stack it, so... My roommate got a new calendar. I just didn't realize that. I was looking at it through the thing. Boy copied me. Mmm. 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 But. Yeah, I don't really know where Soldier stands at the moment. Like I said, I have to do a lot more testing. I said the actual second version of PTS comes out in like a couple weeks. They're, I thought like the first phase is going in like in a week. So, if you have a couple weeks, the second phase will be out. Next thing I have is Athena is Bay. And for all who does not know, Athena is my favorite guy in the game. Behind, well, actually, wait, yeah. It's Athena, Freya, and then Soul is my uh, top three. Everyone's going, why not Aphrodite? She's still good looking. Well, because. Have you heard Athena's voice pack? Have you heard of? Uh, oh, sorry. That looks wow. Wait, hold on. Don't I have the? Don't I have smart up right now? I sure do. Hold on. Let me let me put the sound on. Let me switch to something. All right, guys. Oh, all right, guys. Let me see if I can get a thing's voice back. Oh, um, going so you guys can hear it. Wait, can you guys like? Can you guys like see? No. Oh, you know what happened? I don't. I don't have the trying to get administrator mode. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Well, let me at least. Oh. oh. Okay, you guys can't hear it. Cool. Let's listen to this voice back. Help left lane. Okay. Attack right lane. I thank you. I'll defend left lane. I'm on it. Dude, like that voice pack is so nice, dude. Hold on, actually, I'll just give you guys like a cam like that. Here, let me, uh, I'll make the scene bigger. I said I'll make the scene bigger. I said I'll make the scene. Wait, oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let me show you guys this. That is Athena, ladies and gentlemen. That is Athena. You cannot tell me she is not Bay, and she can protect you. I mean, look at her, man. Look, look at her up and down. This is actually a new skin right here. Retreat, middle lane. Pretty nice. Same. Yeah, she got Medusa on her shield though. This is the French skin. Hold on. Please? Why? De Defend the fire giant! Your courage is an example for everyone! Man, tell me that voice is not sexy. Oh, look at her freaking skin! Look at her diamond skin! Look at this! Look at that! That is fire! That is absolute fire. I mean, it's not as good as some of the other ones, but this is absolute fire! Like, bro! Athena is bae. And like I said, second place is Freya. Well, it's Freya and so interchangeable. But like, Freya was my first. Yes, guys, she was my first. Uh, where is she at? Oh, this is my second favorite, guys. She was originally my favorite. Well, female guy, like I should Enemies say. At the fire giant. This is the original Freya. Look at that. I roll my hips back and forth. I roll my hips back and forth. Look at, look at the tattoo. That is thug. And look at that. She, oh, she got drugs on her. She got the hookah on her. Ah. And dude, look at this game. This is legitimately the best skin in the entire game. Hopefully you guys can see it. I, I hope. I really hope you guys can. Uh, hold on. Let me actually look at the camera angle right now. Hopefully, guys. Hopefully, guys have been able to. Help, you guys have been able to see it. Look at that skin! That skin is freaking epic, dude. Listen to the voice back. Okay! Enemy missing! Enemies incoming middle! Enemies incoming left! And then she even has one like this. Please? 
please? Why are you making me look bad? There it is. Chase the enemy! Enemies heavily down the middle! I'm on it! Like, look at her, dude. She's got hooker boots on, though. And her, I mean, her diamond skin is, like, alright. Behind us! I mean, it ain't nothing too special. But, I mean, it's still pretty cool, though. And then my third place is so... She actually has a new skin. Like, the community calls it Sex Bot, but... They call it Soulless Machine. But, dude, it's a, it's Sex Bot. Just trust me. You guys know when, we, when you see it. This is her standard skin. Oh, like I said, again, hopefully you guys can see it. I'll be really salty if you guys do not see it that well. I grew up. Yeah. Actually, this skin's better for to, to see it. This skin's way better. Retreat to the line. Like she's her voice is annoying, but like same time, look at her. She's so cool, dude. And then this is the sex bot one. <laughs> this is such a sex bot. And go, Jilly, This is, you pay a robot to have sex with you. This is what this is. Tell me it's not. Tell me it's not a sex bot. Look at me in the eyes and tell me that's not sex bot. Please. But her booty is huge. Look how huge that is. You get to look at it. Look how freaking huge that is. She is thick. But as you guys like said, you guys can see clearly, like Athena's Bay and then like we got the rest of the bays. Freaking so still broken. Even though they took the to, um, soul off her too, she's still so freaking broken because she has Doom Warp now. Like they totally forgot that they added Doom Warp and they thought like the nerf to soul was good. No, 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 no. You helped nothing. You just made it work. Actually, Doom Warp, dude. If Soul had Doom Warp with her slow, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, right, let's see what else. Okay, uh, next thing is more on like the relic system. Freaking, I don't really know how I feel about the relic system right now. But specifically, what the? Hey, early curse and early. Come on, dude. Early curse and early shell are so powerful. I can't tell me how many times I've gotten first blood just because I popped curse. And like this is like support jungle and like solo. I'm not just popped curse and just walked someone down and just killed them. And it's like you can't do nothing about it. Like you literally can't do nothing about curse or like level one. You can't. Like there's no way you should be able to. You should not be able to load off the game with curse. It's no, 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 no. Alright, and as well as Shell. Shell gives... How many protection does it give? Here, I'll look real quick. How many protections does it give? Um, let's see. How many does it give? Let's just go to the handy dandy... Uh, notebook. I, was, I forgot what it's called. Shell gives you... 45 protections both ways and 15% damage mitigation. You literally get tickled by everything. Literally nothing in the game hurts you. If you have 45 plus 45 protections both ways and 15% damage mitigation, like, bruh. Freaking Capri probably would do legitly one damage to you. And the, and the tick will probably heal you. That's how low it is. The tick will most likely heal you. His damage heals you, probably. Come on, that, that's so strong, having all those protections and the damage mitigation so early. I mean, the fact that it is on 147 cooldown does kind of suck, but at the same time, like, it's so worth it, my eyes. Next thing is, I feel like there's a lot of level 2 to 3 fights in the jungle because of the new speed buff. Well, for, who, for those who don't know, again... Uh, old speed buff was where current blue buff is in the PTS. 
and the new speed buff is where the fire giant is. The fire giant is still there, but while the fire giant is not spawn, uh, there'll be little imps there too you can kill. I think it gives you 5% movement speed per thing that you pick up as long as well it gives you attack speed. And like if you'll know what they stack because they'll change colors when you stack them. But I feel like people are kind of overvaluing them. I mean, movement speed is freaking awesome in this game. It's probably the most important stat other than... It's probably tied with health. It's like just so good. But like, I feel like... And you don't get really no experience from it. It's just literally the 15% movement speed if you get all three. If you get all three. I feel like there's like all these random, awkward 2-3 to three level fights when gods really don't have what they need. Generally, what's been happening, I feel like the last day, is jungle and solo go from blue to XP to land clear wave, and then they go f fight at a speed, which sometimes, depending on what the clear is like from the mid laner, the mid laner can join. It's like, you guys should not be fighting right now. Like, go fight at mid camps. Well, they're actually worth something. It's like, sometimes I feel like I don't want to rotate the speed buff because it's like, I am literally could just clear the wave and get, like, four times as much experience and go from it, but... We'll have to see once the meta truly solidifies and, like, the routes and all that stuff. We'll have to see. Personally, I don't like speed buff. The speed buff needs to, like, change and how, how it works and how much you get. It just needs to... Something needs to change. Uh... As far, like I said, as far as the meta go, I feel like this is a burst meta right now because God, especially like stuff with Doom War, mages would burst and have Doom War. Ugh. Like freaking Ra's back, Poseidon, I feel like is back. Giannis is freaking broken. A lot of people are playing Scylla. It's like, these guys are so good. Because, like, I've gotten hit by 800 damage from Poseidon's Tidal Surge. Title surge hit me for eight hundred. Come on, dude. No, 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 no. That thing does not hit me for eight hundred damage. I'm dreaming. Oh wait, no, I'm not. It all jelly did. I remember I was one time I had raw. I had sixteen hundred health at the point of the game. It hit me for eight hundred. That's what I remember. His tossers literally took half my health. Literally. And it's not like an alt or a big burst ability. It's tidal surge. It, I mean, it has decent scaling, but it's not supposed to take half your health with one hit. Like a quarter, fine. A fifth, fine. Half, no. That's why I'm saying gods will burst. We're going to be huge at this moment. Like I said, I don't know if this current will solidify, but at this moment, gods will burst are, are pretty cute. And the last, last thing I have for this current PTS at the moment, Assassins in the Soul Lane are back. And when I say Assassins, back in solo. But did you catch what I said there? Assassins, back. Oh, I did say back. I meant to say Assassins, Baka in solo. Freaking Baka Sir is back. Honestly, I didn't think the, the uh, buffs I gave him were good. But at the same time, the way they nerfed everything else kind of helped him out a, a, a lot. He's back. Like, I'm playing a lot of Baka and Soul Lane whenever I play Soul Lane. Well, actually, I play only Warriors and I play Baka. So that's because he's, like, so good again. He's like, he was my first Diamond God. And he was my only Diamond God for a long time. I recently got Poseidon. Like, I only have two Diamond Gods just because of, like, I. 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 Ah! I play a lot of gods. I don't just try to master a couple, which that's what I probably should do. I get way better with gods. I'm playing a lot of raw at the moment. I'm just loving raw. Like, I literally cannot hit miss snipes. Like, I literally, like, hit snipes from one blue, um, what do I call it? I can legitly hit one from one mid camp to the other side of mid camp, like, at max range. It's freaking nasty. Even though you can't do that, I'm just applying how. Like how I'm doing, like I've hit so many like no look, no scopes. Like they'll be across the wall. They'll have a couple chances to move and like move side to side, up and down. And I'll still hit the snap because like I'm just so nasty with Rod. Just it was hard to play him last season, just because like if you didn't have an escape, you were just gonna die repeatedly. But also in this meta, he really might have a a, a good chance of like being part of the meta, which. Any meta that Ra's in is awesome. Freaking Kukukan, dude. Like, if 
You can learn to hit his ult. He's going to be nasty. Kuo Khan's freaking nasty. But that's my current thoughts, guys. Like I said, I will be finally erasing this board. And I'll be adding new stuff to this board. To talk about next time, I give an update on how the PTS is going. And I hope during the actual season three, I'll be able to put out more guides because I'll be more. I'll be, I feel like I've have started to become an influential figure, especially like on Reddit. Like I said, the posts I've done on Reddit, some of them, not a lot. Well, really, it's not my posts. It's just like my comments on Reddit get a lot of sub comments on them. Which is pretty cool, because like, people are like seeing my points and really talking about it. So like I feel like the things I say are very big talking points, currently. So like I said, uh, however the meta goes, I'll be a big part of it, I feel like. Just because, like I said, I stay on Reddit. And I'm always trying to come up with new, I new ideas, because that's what you do in PTS. You see what's good, what you can change from last season to possibly make it better. So that's going to be the end of the video guys. I'm actually going to go get something to eat. Then I uh, might work out to try to get these guns up for football season. Ah, shout out to my brother Michael Marlon. Always supporting me. I love you guys so much. So uh, like I said. Uh, if you like this video. Which I know you did. I know you did. And if you didn't you're lying. If you guys like this video make sure you guys like, friend, subscribe. And I'll... Uh, I'm hitting the Quan currently. Even though this is not how you get the Quan, I'm just doing it just because first thing came to my head whenever I said when I when I was doing this, I didn't know what I was doing, so I just I'm hitting the Quan. Mm, hit the Quan. Sorry, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Love you guys.